Hello and welcome to the final episode for the ABI Power Off series. In this episode, we will be doing a summary and a question and answer session of everything that we have looked at so far uh, during the Power Off series. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching all our videos so far. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to get in contact with us, whether you drop a message below or through our website or LinkedIn. Okay. okay, and if you've been uh, watching, you'd know that Manid's been asking me the questions. This time I'll be asking Manid the questions to check that he's been paying attention. So Manid, on episode one, we talked about the AMS module. Can you tell me how many channels the AMS has? Sure, so the AMS allows you to do power off testing through the Boardmaster. And if I'm correct, the AMS channel has 64? 64 channels, that's correct, for one AMS. Mm -hmm. How many more AMSs can you have? Right, so you can have up to four if required, and that would be 256. 256 channels. Okay, so that was the first episode. That was an introduction to the AMS module. We took it out of the case, and uh, you will be able to watch that on one of the recommendations there. So episode two, we looked at two DVI, all using the AMS as well, all within the Boardmaster. And can you tell me what two DVI is? Sure, so 2DVI, um, I think in this episode you demonstrated on a resistor on a specific PCB we had. So VI is basically where we have a current um, limited AC signal, is a measurement where we have a current limited AC signal and we apply this uh, to the device we want to test. The voltage across the device is plotted against the current through it. So what we see here is electrical characteristics of this particular uh, resistor that we tested. So we have voltage against current. That's correct. So that was episode two. We measured the VI signature of a resistor on one of our boards we've got here. Mm -hmm. And this is the one we've got. Can you tell me what that blue line is? Sure, so the blue line is our mask. So this is the stored information. So the idea is that you save uh, the information from a good known board, like a golden board. And then we could use this to compare against the faulty or suspect board. Brilliant, so. we'll get into that more of that later in another series. Okay, so that was episode two. Episode three, we looked at 3D VI. Yeah. Uh, I think we measured a capacitor and compared that against another capacitor. Can you tell me what the difference is between 2 dVi and 3 dVi? Of course. So 2 dVi, we have two axes, it's just voltage against current. With 3 dVi, we also have frequency. So this is useful when uh, we want to test and look into components in more detail that are frequency dependent. So for example, you have capacitors, inductors, and so on. So what this allows you to do is sweep through the range of frequencies to see how your device responds depending on the frequency over the frequency range. So for example, we may have a capacitor that's completely fine at high frequencies, but at low frequencies, it may show, uh, let's say, leaky characteristics. So this easily allows you to identify faults with components like these. Brilliant, so that was a summary of uh, episode three, we looked at 3 dVi. Mm -hmm. Episode four, we're gonna look at 3 dVi on an IC. Can you tell me what's going on here? Ah, uh, yes. So uh, in the previous episodes, you demonstrated how we can test um, discrete components in circuit resistors, diodes, capacitors, inductors, and so on. In this particular episode, we looked at how we can test ICs in circuit. So what we did is we, uh, we connected a ribbon cable along with a clip uh, from our board master directly to the IC itself. And we did um, a VI test on the IC. So we chose how many pins our IC was, and then we basically started the test. And what we see here is the electrical characteristics of each pin to the ground. So we had the ground as a reference in this case. Brilliant, so that, that was episode four on testing an IC with the VI. Mm -hmm. Episode five, we're look at testing the, the IC again, but as you can see, it's a bit different. We're using matrix VI instead of 3D VI. Can you tell me the difference between 3D VI and matrix VI? So matrix VI, another exclusive test available with the Boardmaster. As with the 3 dVi, very exclusive, yeah. not being seen anywhere else. Um, so the matrix VI differs to the traditional VI as uh, since we are using each pin as a reference. So this gives you a good idea of what is going on within the device itself. With the traditional VI, it gives you more of an idea of what is going on around the device as we are using the ground as a reference. But since each pin is being used as a reference with the matrix VI, it gives you a good understanding of what is going on within the device itself. So each pin is being, get, being tested against each other, pin one against pin one, pin one against pin two, and so on. For example, let's say we have um, a 20 pin device, we have 20 lots of 20 tests, so 400 in total. And as demonstrated by itself, all those tests happen almost instantly. That's correct. So in the last ep in episode four, we looked at uh, testing an uh, IC 
looking at the VI signatures from out external to the IC to the ground. This time we're looking at those VI signatures within the IC. Internally, exactly. So episode six, the final episode, the episode just before this one, we looked at pulse output using uh, the 3D VI. Can you tell me, is this a VI test? Okay, so the pulse output is a slightly different test. Uh, it's not a VI test, but it comes as part with the bone mass. It's more of a VT test. So we're changing the display from voltage against current to voltage against time, VT. So this test is useful for gate activated devices, for example, transistors. Um, you demonstrate an, an NPN transistor, is that right? Uh, yes, okay. I, I used the transistor on one of our boards we got here. Sure. Um, so what this allows, you, allows us to do is um, trigger a pulse and see how our device responds. Uh, we could check the voltage, we could check the time the pulse is triggered, so we could check the time uh, the device is activated, and we can use this to test against um, or to compare against the specification, to compare against another component, and to see um, various other details of our device to make sure it's operating as it should. Brilliant. Okay, Mini, I think that's six for six. You got them all right. Great. So we'll see how well I do in the next season. Sure. Um, but yeah, so you can check up on all those episodes in the recommendations. They'll all be in a playlist as well. Don't forget to subscribe so you get the next season coming as well. Mm -hmm. Anything you like to add? Sure, just to point out that the next season will be a power on. Uh, we'll be focusing on power on tests. So all of this, again, is available with the Bone Master. Both comes with power off and power on tests, a variety of different tests. So keep a lookout for those for that series.